Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Hunter Calls the Wild! Da -da -da. Uh, my name is Dizzy, uh, we have been playing for a fair while uh, in Yieldy Hirschfelden, uh, and we are making steady progress on the quests, blasting some uh, nice deer. We've gathered a couple diamond red deer over our time, and I think a rare skin bison at some point as well. Uh, and we are going to do the very first thing we must always do ever upon entering the Hunter Call of the Wild, which is we're going to fix that kit. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm still using the uh, Stradivarius, the Ranger, these are rifles that I need for quests, specifically this one, two fellow deer with 243. And two row deal with a 270. Uh, oh, we have a Yi in the chat. Hi there, Yi. How's it going? Uh, two, four, three probably dips. We've got plenty, we've got plenty. Oh, we back. Uh, I can't call for the red deer because I've not finished fixing my kit. Hang on. <laughs> Quickly. Moose caller don't need, elk caller don't need, deer bleak caller don't need, don't need. That's my deer caller. Mm. Right, hopefully he'll come close to me while I'm busy uh, fixing the rest of my kit. Uh, what do we need? Antler Rattler for Fallow Deer. Uh, uh, we need a bro deer caller, we need a pigu caller. I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a new mission available. Jaeger the Lost Son. I guess that's this one? No, that's this one. Let's see. Okay. Uh, right. Bro deer on. Uh, eight outlaw on six, wild boar on zero. We're doing good today. That's good news. That's good news. We are gonna see if we can attract this red deer near enough that we can actually pop it. I'm going to forget the controls for binoculars and try and activate them with click, which is not going to work. How about me? I'm doing okay. I didn't sleep super great, by which I mean I got to bed at like 5am. Ah. Uh, well, that's not true. I was in bed from like midnight. And I got to sleep at like 5am. Well, I think this is the longest conversation I've ever had in Reindeer. Uh, Red Deer, even. Or any deer, if it comes to it. Uh, we are up here. Now, you'll notice I've got a little tent here, which I did not put down on stream. I did, in fact, come back off stream during the night to uh, pop down such a thing. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. I saw little red deer down there. I want, yeah, I want level one for my 270. Or put the bolts on the crossbow. So I'd much rather get the crossbow kill. I saw it in his little face. Uh, he has possibly saw it in my little face somewhere. Ah, this is a terrible one.
No, 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 don't run. No, okay. Ah, uh, that was a terrible follow up shot. Oh, I do see him. I did see him. Uh, it all depends on how good that first shot was led, or how well that first shot was led. It looks like maybe we got a vital hit, which I wasn't necessarily expecting to have gotten, to be honest. So I'm happy about that. Wanna stay still? Or come back. One of the two. Nope. No you don't. Okay. Well fine. Stuff you then. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. I had to stand up because I couldn't see him properly. Oh my god. Well, I mean, there's a lot of red deer around there, isn't there? Are you going to go up here where your friends went? Oh. I could definitely have hit him. It would not have been a good hit. Oh god damn it! This bloody animation takes so long and you can't skip it. Oh my god! Stop try stop aiming for me. Bloody deers. What a disaster. And they've all gone up that way. Every single one of them has gone up that way. God damn you. Right, we'll have a look at this nice one. What we popped. Ooh, you're a gold. Difficulty 8 mythical. Very happy about that. Uh, okay. Just killed me then, basically. Great, fantastic. That's what I wanted. Right, well, seeing as they all went off in the same direction. Let's see if we can head in that direction ourselves. I wouldn't normally always give chase like this, but there seemed to be enough target saturation in this direction that uh, it could be worth it.
bison up in the hills. Bison over there. Oh, uh, I don't have a. I don't have a, a bison class long range gun. The only thing I have for bison is my crossbow. But we are headed in crossing paths. So, you never know. <sighs> right, he's about 50 meters away. Which is fantastic news. Oh my god, he went down like a sack of bricks. Jesus. <laughs> wow, I have no idea what I hit then, but I hit it well. Uh, I guess I want to loosely head towards this. Two hits. Blimey. Oh, I got them through the heart. Wowzers. I'll tell you what, though. That hit... Like, he was not much beyond 50 meters there. But that hit was already much lower than I was aiming. The, uh, the drop-off is pretty severe, apparently. That's a pretty nice one as well. Got him through the spine, apparently. From below. Who is that? Is that another thing? That's a red deer. was a red deer. Oh, stay still, stay still, stay still! Stay still! <sighs> ah, that was not a good shot. That was a fantastic hit, but the uh... The deer was not a good shot. Well, that's not entirely true. It was true. Two not good shots. Um, uh, There's two not entirely good shots that I can't place. Oh yeah, no organs hit. We will probably not expect him to go down. It's a shame because we've hit him twice now. Uh, I also just realised that these arrows might be the wrong arrows for Red Deer. They are the wrong arrows for Red Deer. Whoops. Good job I didn't use them, I guess.
But I'm not expecting him to go down, but I will follow him and see if I can finish him off. He's now gone back across the river that he, or he originally came from. Um, Oh, it's also very convenient that I happened to put my tent not too far from a, a place where you can cross. I hadn't quite realised that. Something is making a call down there, and who, and I don't know what kind. <laughs> Bloody animation is the longest thing anyone has ever programmed into any video game. Oh my god, he's gonna do it. He's gonna go back across. Oh, you little... You little thing. I hate this. Why is this crossbow not loaded all of the time? Seriously. Why do I have to fiddle about with it every single time? Right. <sighs> well, we got eight, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh my god, leave me alone, you horrible creatures. Ha <laughs> ha! Being absolutely minced. Absolutely minced. Um. Amazing. Truly astonishing. Right. Let's head to this tower. I'm not chasing this deer anymore. Bloody deer. He's now flummoxed me twice. Not particularly looking for a third tango. You can understand why some of the more toxic members of the community refer to the females as bodyguards though, because all of that faff and problem came about because one of the females came up to me before the male was in sight.
Just like that, in fact. Uh, oh, the yellow is making it quite difficult. Yellow and the, the shadow from not having revealed very much of the map around here. They're making it quite difficult to gauge just how much hunting pressure I've blobbed on this space. It's probably time to start thinking about not adding any more. I didn't see the male, which either means it was a different herd. Or that he didn't come through, or possibly it just means that I'm blind. These are all about equally viable possibilities. Hello. So you up there. Up there is maybe a little safer. It's a bit further away. Are you with that same male though? Are you with a different male? Are you not with a male? Oh, there he is, there he is, he's wounded. Oh my goodness gracious. We got him! And he'll have blobbed up here, of course. I also realised we have not a lot of health. <laughs> you can see in the bottom right hand corner. That little plus sign and a bar. Right, so the first one, I was a shade too far in front. The second one, I was even further in front. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. Um, was only would only have been a silver in the end, but it was a silly angle to take a shot from. I shouldn't have, especially as he was moving. I got greedy. I mean, that's been an exciting start. We've harvested... Uh... One, more. The latest harvests. We've harvested eight animals in the first 23 minutes of the stream. That's quite a lot. Um... And the vast majority of those were resounding successes, being as they were close range shots with crossbows. So yeah, the crossbow suffers. The crossbow suffers from being a very close range weapon, but not a very reactive weapon. Like, even drawing the bow and knocking an arrow is a lot quicker than drawing the crossbow and, and loading an arrow. Or at least it sometimes is, because sometimes the bloody thing is like, oh no, I need to 
do like a full drawback and everything animation. Which just takes years. Um, I'm wondering where there's going to be a, a house. I, I guesstimated before there might be an outpost there. I'm not seeing too many other good places in this whole top area for houses. Or rather, perhaps I'm seeing too many, so it's not obvious which one it could be. Because, like, there could be one at the end of this road, maybe, but that's not a great spot. There could be one here, but that's very close to here and to here. These are all good spots that it could be any one of, but probably not multiple of. Like, there could be one there, but it's surrounded by fields again. Maybe something up here? But is that too much on the edge of the map for them to put an outpost there? Hmm. I'm not a good judge, apparently. I'll tell you what we've also not found, which is partly because I played through the night on Layton. Um, that's the, this is part of the reason why, but uh, we've not heard hide nor hair from any foxes in our time here, which is a bit of a problem because part of the reason why we're up here is we have two more foxes to hunt in this big ol' yellow region, what you was seen on the map. Ooh, we have found a rest zone. And a tree that looks a little precarious. Where is that? It's kind of back the way I came. So I'll squeak for it, but uh, I'll not otherwise divert my attention that way. Times it as well. It's about 8.43 now, so sort of 7 8 o'clock is when all those deers were where they were. Oh, this is a place where a fox should be. It should be right now. But has obviously wandered off. Which is a shame. A massive shame. I mean, great if I just wandered up on a fox, just chilling out here. But, good place to come back to. Actually, I've been saying that a lot when I've been discovering need zones, but because they've been updating the Blumid map and refreshing all of the need zones a lot in the last couple of months. I say a lot, it might have been only like once or twice, but it's felt like a lot. But because they've been doing that, I've not been able to come back to need zones because I discovered them and then they're gone. Which is most infuriating. Where is the... Uh, okay, so we might have to sort of go a little bit around, depending on how bad this hill is.
This is a very charming forest. I'm very happy to find myself here. Deer have been this way. This hill feels scalable. But I'm not certain. <laughs> Maybe we need a little help from Skyrim. <laughs> Open area. Is anyone here? No. Okay. You sure? Because that would be like a really great place to uh to have like a whole herd of deer or something. <laughs> Preferably like fallow deer? Like I've not seen any fallow deer in like this whole bit of park that I've been to. Which is kind of crazy. There's like a whole species that I've just not seen in half the park. <laughs> There's plenty of footy prints. This is a bison herd. It's kind of a double shame being back here at uh, in the daytime. Partly because there's no foxes, partly because I got a quest for a bison at night. But uh, it's a long old time till the night. trying to deal with Steam giving me uh, notifications that I didn't necessarily want. Mm -hmm. This hill is getting more and more obnoxious as we go further up it. Which does not... Oh my god, make for a happy dizzy. That makes for a very happy is it though? Sound of a bison like a few inches away. 
Where are you at? I wish I had a call for you. Oh, that's a pig track. There's an eatery. I wonder if there's bison at the eatery. No my luck, I'm gonna shoot a bison that's gonna run straight down that hill I just can't find. Oh my god, stop with the animation already! Right, what have we got? We've got a one trivial, a two minor. I think he got mad at me. I didn't probably need the second arrow, but like it makes my life a lot easier to pick him up here and it means he doesn't charge me, which he might have been about to do. So I don't consider that a wasted investment. Did I already got this? Oh, apparently I did. Also grabbed an arrow. Yeah, the first one was a double lung. He was not long for this world, anyhow. Oh, I just missed the heart. They were really blooming close. Alright. Before I go on, is there any chance that you guys are coming back? I hear something. I'm not sure it's footsteps, so it might just be ambience or ambiance. It sounded like twigs crackling, but like very lightly nearby, which is not what footsteps, and especially bison footsteps sound like. Although actually I'm not certain that there's a different footstep noise for different species. Either way, it's not what I've ever heard footsteps sound like and they're definitely, definitely not what a bison would sound like. Oh, it must have been the first few droplets of rain. That's what it would have been. The rain in this game is great, I just wish it lasted longer. I've almost certainly expressed this opinion before. Um, yeah, that is not something I'm getting up, so we're gonna have to go around. And hook up with the path, I assume. Oh, hello. Is this part of the same feed zone or some different? I'm going to turn this up for you. Is that great? Oh, the video quality is just a horrible. Just like, listen. Anyway. 
Oh, this is a rodeo eatery. The road deer are like, they're also class 2 aren't they? Hold on. Grab this. That's bison. Just sort of wondering if a road deer is actually small enough to be preyed upon by a red fox. I wouldn't have naturally assumed that a fox would catch a deer. But like, if they're very small... And to some extent, I'm not sure why they couldn't. No, we're there class three. Okay, that's probably too big for a fox. Oh, piggy tracks. I mean, here's the thing, if you'd asked me, can a coyote bring down a, a small deer, I would have said yes, absolutely. Now, I don't know how exactly large a coyote is relative to a, a European fox, but they use, I think, the same model in the game. So, at the very least, uh, Avalanche or Apex or Creative Worlds or whoever they are, they must think that they are fairly similar creatures. And yet, the idea of a fox bringing down even a small deer is b bewildering to me. Hello. There's two foxes over here. I'm not sure if I got the second one. I definitely got one, though. Right. Boom. Gold. Level 7. Through the heart. Very happy with that. Uh, well, this second one did get hit. But because he was on top of his friend, it's impossible to tell from that blood splat. I think, I think that might be a 2. A 2, a two animal blood splat. Be blowing Christmas if it is. I mean, it would have been better if I hit him properly. A low bleed rate is a good thing. Low bleed rates often kill. Very low is where it's it's generally in. in oh look, there he is. He's right there. Amazing. Well. It's about to be quest complete. We didn't haven't even made it to the, the thing yet, but we have found the path. So I will probably check this little lookout tower off. Um, well, I'm very happy with that. That's the other thing. I say, you know, I'll Avalanche or Apex or whoever must consider them very similar creatures. Foxes are 8,000 times easier to hunt. They're not that similar in the game. <laughs> but the, the difficulty of foxes is, or of coyotes, the difficulty of coyotes is one of the reasons why I am trying to prioritize the fox quests 
because I remember the Coyote quests from Layton and they were horrible. And I don't want to have to like be sat with just Coyote quests to do. Ah, oh, smidgen off to the right, that's such a shame. Tressler's hunt can begin. Have you seen a fox up close? It's quite rare. Oh no, this means shoot a fox from nearby. A fox downed within 30 meters, okay. Oh dear. Um, I tell you what, none of our non-main mission quests are now area sensitive. So the only place that we have that we're supposed to be going is for this, the Rathenfeld Straw Fields. Which is probably a place I'd kind of want to go anyway for the fellow deer. Uh, right, our goal now is just to follow this path. Our path is going to loop in a annoying spiral that we will probably have to follow. There's nothing else can be done about that. Stroke a lot. Just two foxes just sitting on top of one another right where they needed foxes. Um, I think that straw fox is down here. Oh, we've got us like a little sub area to look in. Which we don't exactly know because we know where it is. Well, I thought I had a tent nearby. Guess not. I guess I have to be going to there. Uh, uh, is that actually the best one? It's like the only one to anywhere nearby, so yes, that's the best one. <laughs> Peek over this hill. I have biscuits with me to nibble, but I'm not sure I really have much impetus for nibbling. Because I just put the smallest amount of biscuit in my mouth possible, basically. Nipped it off and chewed and was just like, nah. I think it's a common thing. I've been a bit off my food for a, a, a while now. Mm. 
appears to be yet more bison tracks. And something else. Red deer as well. I'm going to take a peek over this little bridge. Ooh, oh, no, I'm going to go over to this feed zone. It's a bison. Hopefully that bison is further along the path. That took a while to come into focus. The question is, do you reckon this is a bison feed zone, a deer feed zone, or both? Oh, it's a boar feed zone! There's apparently five different boar at it. And I come here super duper early. There's bison somewhere over there. Don't know where exactly. Spot will be the spot that I need to get you with a point two seventeen. Stay still, stay still. <sighs> oh, that's a bison. If you're wondering. Dizzy, why did you use a whacking great big rifle that's way too big for a rodeo? Because I got a quest that tells me to. That's why. This one. But luckily, this might be the last one for it. Twenty five point oh three. Oh, yeah. Right. There are still sabotaging around Spreeberg. Please hunt them down over there. Okay. Trail to Spreeberg. Where's Spreeberg? It's the middle bit. Okay. I know you're very mad. You're very mad because I've been shooting things somewhere over here. Oh, you didn't go down. Does that mean I can hit you or just that I hit you badly? It's very possible that my bullet might have pinged into the ground. So you're a little more obscured than I gave you credit for. Little deer. Little deer. I 
assume this is the little deer track. Somebody's dead by. Do we reckon it's bison? Or little deer? I did hit the little deer, but it has gone down. I think this is bison, man. Oh gosh, it's not. Oh no. Oh no, we're faffing. Silly thing! God, I hate the crossbow! Bloody thing! Bloody, bloody thing! Such a faff all of the time! Ugh! Should have just used the regular bow. The only problem is I don't have enough weight capacity for the rangefinder sight. And I'm not that good with a non range finder sight on the regular bow. And my hope is I'll be able to see that deal once I come over this crest. Give him a pop. <sighs> Bloody crossbows, so full of faff. And I, I absolutely hate the unskippable animations. Like, you can't change weapon in the middle of animation. I hate that so much about this game. There you are. Oh, don't, don't do, ah, oh, I've got a road here to find. Oh, I really want this red deer. Oh, I don't want to go back up this hill though. Blasted, blasted, blasted crossbow. And what I don't get is, like, right now, nothing. No log animation. But as soon as I want to use the damn thing? <sighs> you live this time, dear. <laughs> He's a class seven. He's not like, oh my gosh, amazing, m marvelous diamond deer or anything. I'm just annoyed that I had a good shot and couldn't take it. I should have switched the crossbow. I shouldn't have switched the crossbow, it was a mistake. I was just thinking, ah, there's lots of hunting pressure here. Which there is. There's two gunshots worth of hunting pressure here already. I'm gonna blow for this boar just in case it's still around. Um Like there is a lot of hunting pressure here. The crossbow was the objectively correct weapon to be using in that situation. It's just that the crossbow hates me. Oh, this is apparently also a rodeo feed zone. Right, 
let's find this blood trail. Again. So my, uh, my arrow does seem to be in the ground. I saw it before. I was on the path, I think. I was coming up the path. And where in the bloody hell is this blood trail? Where actually did the blood trail go? There was loads of blood around here. What? Did the trail despawn? I didn't think it was supposed to do that. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're not finding that then. Is it further down? I think it was. No? Okay, we've just... that's just evaporated. Great! Fantastic game. What the... pig? I'll tell you what, that pig left no footprints either. So it's possible the game might have actually, like, properly balked with footprints. Ah, uh, which is not good news. I mean, I've gotten tired of telling the devs to fix their game at this point. I'm still going to, but I am tired of it. Uh, Like, this is why I couldn't be a game dev, even though I kind of have some programming skills, and even though I would want to, to do something like that would be great if I accidentally stumbled upon the body by pure fluke. The answer is a firm maybe. It could just be a rock. Like, I could never be a dev, because I could never throw out something in the state that games get put out nowadays, and especially games like this. Oh! Oh! The tracks have decided to show up again. How lovely! <laughs> Thanks! Amazing, wonderful. <laughs> the devs hacking into my PC to hotfix the game in real time while I complain about it. Um, <coughs> oh gosh, hang on. Right. Well, more by luck than judgement, we managed to find the road deer that we shot. Not well. Oh come on, that shot was well on target for an organ. Maybe. Oh, well, the thing's dead, does it really matter? I mean, yes, but like, also sort of no. Oh wow, he was uh, 
making that noise as he went down. Somebody else made a noise, but it didn't let me see it. Which is a shame. Pegu. Organs, most of them. One of those shots where it's easier to count the organs you missed <coughs> than the organs you didn't. Gracious, am I ever sleepy? How close are we? We're nearly there. Is it bad that I saw a patch of daisies? I was just like, hmm, gotta report these to Clay. Although I'm not sure, because I'm not. I've done um, um, plant science, and I've done a few courses and modules and whatever on plant ID, although I wasn't particularly great at them. But uh, I did. I am confident that I could not tell whatever kind of daisy this is from a British daisy, from an oxide daisy, or any other kind of invasive white petaled aster. Like. All Asteraceae, and maybe this is racist, all Asteraceae just kind of look the same to me. Uh, they're not my favourite flowers in the world at all. Uh, they're not even my favourite inflorescences in the world. They're... Yeah. Daisies, what's good? Uh, what is good is that we are about to pick up this lookout tower and then we will be free. Free to leave the northern reaches of Hirschfeld. Maybe free to have a nap. No, it's only ten past one. Another two hours until that time. Assets point. Lookout point. 
This map, for some reason, is very ugly. I'm not quite sure why. Rittestein is one of the most common starting points for hunting in the reserve. It is a good mix of open fields and deep forests. The large population of wild boar has called to hunters since the Middle Ages. Uh, right, okay, we've not unlocked a single, or we've not revealed a single house on the map from doing that. Not ideal, but okay. Right, so we gotta go to Spreeberg. We gotta go to Rathenfelt. Which one do we want to hit up first? What way is the wind going? Due east. It's probably good for the straw fields then. Uh, we do. Start here, head to straw fields? Probably. I might pick up some more ammo because we did get off quite a few shots today. But it would not behoove us to be in the middle of a field with unfixed kit. Oh, plus, I don't actually have to have my uh, point two seventy on anymore if I don't want it. Because I finished that quest, didn't I? I might consider bringing out the point three oh three. Well, actually, well, what ammo? Ideally, I'd like something that grabs up to the class 9. So 303 doesn't. 0.338 will do 7 to 9, which technically works with the 0.243, but the 0.243 is not very good against class 6. Uh, the 4050. I could try the 4050. Or the seven mil magnum. Let's let's grab the seven mil magnum. Let's not, because it's too heavy. <laughs> that sold that one for us, didn't it? Um You might need your own scope though. Oh, I don't need that scope actually, I'm not currently wielding a handgun. Am I? Oh, I've got a handgun on me apparently. Uh. Hi there, ye. How's it going? Uh, what the hell scope did this bloody gun use? That's right, we have point forty-five fifty. Is uh, Helios? Oh, okay. No, wait. The Helios is different. Helios. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Uh, sights. Handgun sight back on the handgun. Coachmate. Coachmate bullets. Yes. Right, so this is not as long range as the 270, but. Oh my god, the straw field's ages away. Not as long range as the. the uh, coach meat, but much better than. No, sorry. Not as long range as the 270, but much better than the crossbow for taking out bison. What is that emoji that you're using at the moment? 
It looks like a sort of a, a squished gnome. nearby than this. Do not understand how there's no outpost in like this whole area. What is up with that? What is up with that? At some point, gonna have to get real blown close to a fox. I'm not looking forward to that because it's not gonna be easy. I went to check the time, did not check the time, checked the mission instead. Now I have to be back here to check the time. Good at this, aren't I? Raid? Oh, you're not promoting the hit free-to-play video game Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Um, I've always kind of found it interesting that that Twitch channels often have like a, a, a raid emote. Because it's, you know, it's, it's a very Twitch specific thing. It's not something you can necessarily kind of use outside of one very specific context. But I guess because that context is something that happens once every stream, and you know, if you if you've got more than one viewer, you know people typically do raid at the end of their stream. Um, I must admit, my favourite raid emotes are the ones that also double as as not raid emotes. Uh, like I like the... Oh, I can't find it. There we are. I like the uh, the Fion Wiggle emote. Uh, which is used both as kind of a generic greeting and as a as a Hi, we're raiding you emote. Because <laughs> it's very funny to just yump up on someone and, and have lots of vaguely sort of happily brainlessly wiggling things all over the screen. This area is very dead. I've not seen an animal in quite a while up here. And he is showing off their many, many different emotes. There's variations on wiggling, petting, one of them is a crab rave. 
one of them is somebody doing a, a handstand and falling over, question mark? <laughs> And all of them are more interesting than a hunting game with no animals to hunt. Where are you? That's a very pretty tree. Uh, come here, you silly little deers. And geese. that high above my head. They're definitely within shooting range. Because that was that was reading like 97 meters or something. Like that's definitely shooting range. Oh, stream quality is tanking because I've got OBS open. Whoops. Actually Although I have a go at the developers, with the, the bird behaviour change, at the very least I've not heard geese going over my head every five minutes, which was the absolute worst part of playing on Hirschfeld and by a long way. It's, not only are there no animals on the ground sometimes, there's no animals on the ground and there's animals in the sky making a nuisance of themselves. Uh, Jesus Christ, that is a lot. Well, one day I shall have emotes of my own with which you can terrorize the good gentle folk of Twitch. Okay, just because I mentioned being glad about you not going overhead every five minutes was not an excuse for you to start going overhead every five minutes, geese. Um, Uh, Yi says, this one is my fave, and it has the Kodge Pride Love emote, which is, uh, for people viewing at home, it's a, a cute little bear holding a pride flag heart, and it's very adorable. Oh good, there's construction work going on outside. I sort of heard someone moving around outside the window and was like, hmm, I should probably close that. Well, I'm glad I did. I have no idea what machine they're using, but it's a loud one. Sounded like a combination Hoover rock grinder. That's the best way I can describe the noise that I've just been blessed with. Uh, I'm not sure adding a Hoover to a rock grinder would make it significantly better as a rock grinder. Um, and I'm not sure if adding a rock grinder to a hoover would make it significantly better as a hoover. Ah, uh, uh, little bush. How's the song go? We're marching through the woods. Something like that. That's the one on TikTok. I'm too old for TikTok, probably. I'm firmly mid millennial. Ooh, I 
I'll tell you what I'm not too old for though. Pretty autumn leaves, oh my goodness. They're actually in a, a seasonally appropriate Hunter Call of the Wild for a change. Instead of the heckin' Siberian winter. <laughs> um, Is going live on TikTok, like, is it a significant thing? At least for people who, who don't already have large TikTok followings, or any TikTok followings? The only time I see people live on TikTok is when I'm scrolling, like, really late at night, because I think I follow too many Americans. Uh, Oh wow, that does sound impressive. Well, intelligent life was- I say intelligent life. Not intelligent life, it's fellow dear. Were here. Not here anymore. Have been gone for like three in-game hours. Yeah, about three in-game hours, but uh... Anywhere here. Other people watch you in town. Well, maybe I'll give it a go at some point. Cause, uh, as much as Twitch is kind of where I want to be as the dedicated live streaming platform, I am sort of aware that discoverability on Twitch is non existent. And I've been considering moving. For example, my late night uh, Medved streams to YouTube when I do them. For example. Uh, oops. Stuck around the tree. Where am I? Am I on a hill? No, that's even weirder. <laughs> I thought I was like, am I here? It's just this little pass between two hillocks that aren't really hillocks on the map. Two of the hardest platforms to stream, Twitch and YouTube. Well, YouTube is supposed to be kind of a bit more friendly, the streaming on YouTube, in that you will actually get, like, recommended to people. And I, you know, I, I will appreciate, if I ever do stream on YouTube, I'll appreciate the fact that the VODs kind of just stay there, I don't have to move them around myself, and I don't lose like, the attached chat stuff. So that will be a benefit if I have to stream on YouTube. But, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just partly because, like, YouTube is the platform I grew up with. It's the one I have, I suppose you could call it brand loyalty towards. You know, it's- YouTube is what I think of when I think, ah, I'm going to go and watch something. And Twitch is, is what I think of when I think, ah, I'm going to go and engage with somebody who I follow. Right. Lovely fields. Little cabin that we've been to before. Now when last we came here, it was the middle of the night. And there were a couple foxy loxies if I remember. Chilling just kind of over there-ish, I think. 
I think that's the right field. Oop, blimey, oops. <laughs> Accidentally stood up. As one does. Day, however, there seems to be exactly nobody and nothing here. On the plus side, there's also no hunting pressure here. I should stay still long enough for me to come and see what that actually said. Let's say 100 and something? Yeah, 100 and something. Oh my god, shut up! Whoa, your eyes? What's up with your eyes, Yi? Or has the stream quality just died again? No. Was I even using the right ammo? I was using the right arrow, but not successfully. Oh my god, Jesus, okay, I can see how that hurt your eyes, ye. Blimey. Okay. Yeah. We did not have luck with the old shotgun there. But hey, we gave it a go. I've never really tried shotgunning animals in flight before. Uh, thank you so much to XXKiller415 for the follow. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Hi there! We are currently being not very proficient hunters. <laughs> um, but it's fine, because what we're actually hunting for is, is a child. Which sounds terrible when I put it like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Eric went out to play this morning, has not come back. He usually goes out for a few hours, comes back when he gets hungry. I hear you. I see you. Stay still. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh, do I run? Oh, maybe not. Four views. Oh wow, that's like that's a fairly high for me. Awesome, okay, right. <laughs> so you're you're updating me in, in real time, and I have uh, a tracker on my little chat monitoring app, because I can't have OBS open to look at chat. Constantly, because it makes the quality of the stream go down the toilet, as you can probably see right now. Um, so I can't easily monitor it on OBS, but I have my little chat monitoring app. But my chat monitoring app is uh, is very bad at being accurate about how many viewers or chatters or whatever I actually have. Um, uh, am I going to the cabin bit? Or am I going to the barn bit? Uh... 
Ah. These are human pity pits. I guess these are the you ones we're going to be following. Let's see where it leads. <laughs> Follow the tracks. You spend a lot of time following human tracks in Call of the Wild. Um, it's a deer wearing big shoes. I say big shoes, I don't actually know how big these weapons are. Let's, if I get my face right up in them. Yeah, those are some pretty big shoes. They're like significantly bigger than my binoculars. And these are like proper binoculars. Oh, okay, actually, well, I've got, I've got some not proper binoculars and my feet are quite a lot bigger than those. So maybe these aren't that big. Maybe these are normal size human feet. You don't need to be disappointed, ye. These things, they, they, they come and they go. And from the Twitch side of things, of course, the kind of average is more important than the moment by moment anyway. Bloody geese again. Where are they going? Is he going up to here? I suppose that's a possibility. Oh, no, I want this. That's my. This is my geese destroying machine. Theoretically, anyway. Are other viewers OBS? I've never understood if. if. Bots count towards viewer numbers and stuff, because I don't think they do. Because they certainly don't count towards number of active chatters. So I think Twitch is kind of capable of filtering things out. Uh, you guess I have a double monitor. Yes, very much so. Uh, I don't think I could do this without it, realistically. <laughs> oh, I see, you're counting the double mo monitor. Seems he got lost trying to find his way home. Has he tried to find his way home? These tracks lead from the house. I'm also not sure why you're saying another track, because like this has been one set of tracks so far. You have a triple? Very fancy. Nice setup. I don't know where I'd put a triple. Like, I don't have room to have three all side by side. And if I had a, a third one on top of my existing two, I feel like it would block out all of the light from my window. Um, and I'd just feel like I was sitting in the dark. Ooh, Uh, uh oh, where's the track? Where's the track? <laughs> just, just fishing for commands that I might have set up. Um, if I had revenue generating social media, I would definitely put that in Streamlabs' regular little post that he does.
Oh, these tracks go on for ages. Uh, oh, there's a bag. He's left the bag behind, but the tracks go on, so I'm obviously not stopping at the bag. It's kind of annoying though, because they have this whole tracking mechanic, where like tracks link up to one another and they tell you where the direction of the next track is, etc. But the mission tracks like this for humans don't do that. Like, I can't interact with these tracks in any way. He must have been headed in this direction. Well, I'll let your Linda know. Keep I, following his trail. I hope he's been heading in this direction, seeing as I've been following his bloody footprints. Those geese were doing something funny. Now maybe they were just trying to avoid hitting each your other. Linda just called me. They found him. A neighbor in the area saw him up ahead after hearing where he was headed. If you hadn't found his trail, he might have wandered further into the woods and gotten into some real trouble. Thank you so much for helping out. I mean, there's not that much. Have you run across Albertina yet? No? Albertina Fleischer. She's one of the locals. She's a real red deer admirer. We've got a lot of those here, as you can tell. One of her friends is a taxidermist, and apparently he promised to stuff an animal for her birthday as a gift, as long as she provided the materials. You see where this is headed, right? Yeah, she loves red deer so much that she would like one harvested and stuffed to display in her living room. But she'll pay well, so are you up for it? See, I, uh, so I like how Call of the Wild often has like one person in every er in every map that's like specializes in one kind of animal from the map. So like, uh. In, uh, where is it, Layton? Oops, sorry for the all caps there. Uh, in Layton, there's a person who is from the Coyote Control, and so all of her missions are about Coyote. No doubt tell you if you ever meet, her love for Red Deer comes from an episode in her youth when she got lost in the woods. Apparently, she was able to find her way home by following one that appeared in front of her. And so now she wants me to shoot one? Uh, anyway, um... What was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, there's so so the there. So Ah! Dottie ran some tests on the blood sample you took and I'm afraid it's bad news. It showed signs of brucellosis, a disease that can cause miscarriages among the bison. Zomel wasn't too thrilled about introducing bison to the reserve in the first place, and if this were to spread to any of the other animal populations, he might pull the plug on the entire project. Bondati identified a few more bison that were afflicted. He's asking for your help with containing the disease by downing the sick ones. Are you quite done? Can I get on with what I was gonna say now? Ah, uh, yes, so Hirsch has 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 the red deer lady. Leighton has, as well as the, the Coyote lady, who's obviously her job is, is to, to get the Coyotes. It also has like a, an elk appreciator, and all of her missions are about the Roosevelt elk. But I just, I just find it very weird that like, some of your friends are people who are like, oh, I really love this animal, and all of their missions are obviously about blasting those animals with high-powered weaponry. And in this case, stuffing one and having it in your living room. I'm like, if I was a, a fancy pigeon appreciator or whatever, I wouldn't sh go around shooting pigeons. Um, you would die if she talks again? Yeah, me too. Uh, also, for what it's worthy, I believe that Streamlabs commands can't have spaces in them. So uh, maybe that's why you're not having any luck. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Right. Missions. 
Ernstdorf? Where the hell is Ernstdorf? Power to the sick place in Ernstdorf. What's up here? So that would be there. Travel to Watwald. Rotwald? Where the hell is Rotwald? That's oh, this bit, okay. Uh, I want to do the Spreeberg side mission. Where? What way is the wind blowing? The wind's blowing to the east. So I could very feasibly start, say, here. Travel to the lake. Oh, I mean, I can even start here and, and pick up all of the lakes on my way. Let's do this. You know, you have boundless creativity for some things, Yi. Um, oh my god, I have 120 of the free bullets, blimey. Uh, I realised I didn't check earlier how many of the 45, 70, whatever the hell they're called. Oh yeah, I do definitely need more of them. These we're deliberately using up, that's fine. Uh, a 600 gram broadhead bolt. Oh, I guess these we also want to use up because these are also the non tracer ones. Well, I might have only just unlocked these ones, possibly. Uh, okay, that's probably far enough there, Yi. Um, oh, these are bison tracks as well. What are we actually doing here? <laughs> Am I just shooting? Three row deer. Okay, I'm just hurt shooting three row deer, that's fine. It's a song? Who writes this stuff? How long have we got left on the clock? Uh, about now and ten. That's plenty of time to go hunting right here. His rapper name is Lil Not the Third. Rap culture is. Oh, I don't even have the words for it. Um... An impressive mix of. Utter bewilderment and affront to humanity all wrapped up in one often not even particularly musical uh, sound punch or sound bite. Hmm. Foxy tracks. I 
this is around a nice open area. So it would be good if we could actually like see someone in it. Hint hint game. No, the game doesn't want to take hints, that's fine. Although, uh, I say it's a nice open area. I still think having this hunting stand here might have been a bit ambitious. What the hell? Oh, ba-ja-ba-ja-ba-ja-ba-ba. to get close to a fox and there is no cover at all. None. What the hell was the mission I just finished? Hide behind the rock. That's my plan. Let's take another fox though. It's probably fine. Right, if he comes over this hill, he's within 30 meters of me. Uh oh. Oh, I think there was somebody else there as well. Boom, 17.58 meters. Quest complete. Who else was there? Oh, well, whoever it was, they are. Oh my god, there's a lot of foxes, blimey. Oh, I don't think I got him well. Don't think I got him well. Uh, his cousin's name is Lol Big Mac. His mom's name is Lol Dishes? The lore, the lore is very deep and intense. Also, I just remembered that um, he did go down, which is probably not great because I didn't think I hit him well. I did see a, a need zone over here, didn't I? Yes. Quick. Grab this. What a roadie need zone. Potentially very handy. Heart rate is through the roof in game. Uh, okay, that's a little dark, Guy. That's a little dark. I mean, I'm I'm absolutely here for the political commentary, but Jesus. Um, oh, is that blood? Blood. Yeah, it was not a good hit, which is a shame. I think what I've done with this fox is exactly what I did with that red deer at the very start. <laughs> okay. Now we got two sets of tracks here, or... One. Right, we've got two, which is going to be a problem. 
This is a thing that Coaties love to do. They love, when they're running away from you, to run back the exact way they came, so that their tracks, like, double up. Fox down from at least 75 meters with a 0.357 handgun. Okay, well I don't have one of those on me. What gun did they use for this? Did I use the right gun? I think I did. I have a sneaking suspicion you might be making just one or two of these up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you on that. Well, there's another need zone over there. Right, where did I hit you? Yep, I, exactly the same thing I did with that deer. Should not try and take shots like that. What in the hell is that noise? Well, the deer's gone all the way around me and is now downwind of me. So I do not expect him to be coming. No. <laughs> I know several feminists who would probably unironically nickname their cat vagina. Um. Oh, this is a boar sleepy zone. Actually, when is the boss sleepy zone active? Till 2 30, so we missed it. This deer is very close. Come here. Come on. Come on. That's a very pretty bird voice. What the hell is this deer? I thought it was going to be right here. Um. It's nice that you can make yourself laugh, ye. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I know about you. I'm looking for this one. It was right here. I thought you was. What does this actually get? 4 to 9, okay. So it's gonna maybe struggle a little bit with the bison boys, but uh... Should be more than up for a deer. I'm gonna rage. Where the hell did you go? I can't even see your tracks! Uh, huh. Oh, that 
was a feed zone. Well, there you are. Hello. You've got to turn around. Ugh. Let me spot him. Oh. You little git. That may have been too far forward in his neck. Yeah, it was. Damn it! Damn it! He didn't want to poke his head out properly. Right, what is this actual quest that I've got? Hang on. I've never actually figured out what the quest was that I accidentally completed. I think it must have been Connie 1, right? Maybe? I guess it must have been. Huh, weird. Right. That deal has not gone down, probably will not go down. Ah, god damn it! I shouldn't have taken the shot. I shouldn't have taken the shot. I should have just waited and let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't kill the deer if you shoot it there. Let it go, let it go. I'm very bad at making up songs on the fly. Um, what the hell rhymes with there? Like lots of things, but what, what makes sense in context and rhymes with there? Also, I should try and sing while I've got like a horrible comedy voice. Uh, that also is not going to help. <laughs> I'm going to be viral. <laughs> I already am viral. I'm Corona viral. Uh, oh dear. Oh, hello. Right, what do I have to oh go what do I have to do for this mission? Mission log. Be in Spreeberg, which I am. How is a bunch of Rodeo? Bang. One Rodeo. Uh oh. No, okay, I was not ever gonna get you. But that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Rude! Not Wrong, exactly, but rude nonetheless. Oh hey, that deer did go down. The red deer did go down. Uh, are you the blood? You're the blood. Oh, this is gonna take me ages to track though. It's going to be miles and miles and miles away. Apparently there's a boar warning call. Which means there must be a boar attached to it somewhere. <laughs> Hello, there's a pigu. Uh, right. I don't think that hit somehow. I'm not quite sure how. In well, fact, it's well enough to see a sound bar. You mean the bottom right? If that's over one, your animal will spook from 150 yards. Uh, let's... I'm not certain that's true exactly, because I tend to go around everywhere at this speed, and oh no, the board did go down. And uh. Oh, I've just splattered loads of horrible hunting pressure here, haven't I? Uh. 
Yeah, I tend to go everywhere at this speed, and I, I wobble between speed 2 and speed 3. So unless 150 yards is a lot smaller than it sounds. I don't think, it certainly don't spook instantly at 150 yards. Because 150 yards is like about 150 meters. I've definitely snuck within 150 yards of, of, of an animal at this noise level. If it's up at the red, like if it's at one red sound bar, maybe. That do be spooking all of the animals. It's one of the things that I find quite frustrating when I'm watching other people play this game, which I do a lot. Oh hell. How far away are you? Is uh like you know most people when they play this game they don't really want to be going super slowly through everything. They'd much rather be walking or running. Hello? Another piggy. They'd much rather be walking or running. Uh, and especially at, at low levels, when you don't have the trait that reduces the noise that you make and stuff. Walking and running will just sk spook all of the animals forever. And so they run through the game, spooking all the animals, and then they're, oh, really? I hit him too high? Oh, that's a shame. And then they're like, oh, well, this sucks. There's no animals in this game. Like, my friend, no. There are animals in this game. You're just scaring them a lot. Right, this is the deer. We've actually been tracking for the last like 10 to 15 minutes. I just keep getting distracted by shooting everything else. Uh, what the hell is this shotgun mission, by the way? Rinsle and Gorge, any animal with a shotgun. Okay, that's fine. That will not be too much of a challenge. Oh dear, number one. Fantastic, okay. Right, well, we've royally blobbed up this lake. We'll probably head to that lake next. But, uh, we need to find this deer. It is apparently dead. I didn't definitely shoot anything else around here, did I? I don't think I did. Oh, there's a red deer. Oh, hell, this is gonna. Ah, oh, if I shoot you, it's gonna nuke the blooming feed zone! What distance are you at? 60 meters. If I can get to within 50 meters, I'll take you out with a crossbow. 55, 53, nope, he's gone. Blast! It's not even a feed zone, it's a, it's a watering zone. Ah, it's worth preserving though. Even if it's really annoying for the mission. Um, you gotta have feed zones. I did about half our missions on Lightning by finding feed zones. So, especially as, as things get on later, and when the, the areas we have to hunt in become smaller, the need zones are going to become more and more useful. Of that, I am certain. Now, if I was kind of clever at the game, I could deliberately get rid of need zones and, like, manipulate them. But I don't really understand how to do that very well, and I don't like doing it. 
it rankles with me. So, uh, don't expect that kind of gameplay. It feels kind of weird that a neck shot takes so long to kill something because you know, although I've not hit if you hit it in the in the, the spine of the neck, then it dies real quick, and you'd expect it to die real quick. But if you hit it elsewhere in the neck, there are still quite a lot of very important things in a neck that you can hit. There's two major arteries that serve your brain. Uh so it kind of feels weird that, like, although it does kill them often, it feels weird that it's a really slow death. Yee, <laughs> Ye, are you? Are you? Being Streamlabs now. I'm just realising the last two times that there's been a Streamlabs announcement, it's not been from Streamlabs. It's been from you. Have you been subsumed by the AI? Is this the first shot fired in the in the human robot war and I didn't even realise? And it was fired in my chat? Warning call over there, some deers apparently smelt me, I guess. <sighs> right, you would have been a gold. Ah, oh, that's real disappointing. I was inches away from a long shot there. Ah, oh, you were eight mythical difficulty. I, I need to start actually checking the difficulties when I spot animals so that I'm not in danger of accidentally messing up a diamond or anything. Uh, seeing as you're over, yeah? Yes, I will wander this way. See if he's got anything for me. Do I have any missions for Red Deer? I don't think I do. Uh no. Okay. Well, I think he saw me. I don't know where he was exactly. I think he saw me. Oops. Not need to do that. Also, find it weird that you can't skip animations in this game apart from the the blowing your horn animation. You can skip that as much as you damn well please. Now I'm guessing that male will probably run off now that that female's coming towards him. But I'm gonna wander up this way just in case. I tell you what, there's also there's loads of little flies in my room and have been for the last few days. I think they're living in my plant soil. I guess they came in and laid like a batch of eggs or something. I don't know, but it's it's not what I want from my life is to be playing with little flies. And they must be living in the plants because they appear even when my windows are closed, as they are now. Uh, but it's very distressing, and I wish they would not. What's the default zero on this? A hundred meters, okay. Not all downwind of me. How irksome. He's 
come in the right way. Nope, that didn't hit at all. Don't know what happened there. But I did not shoot them. I don't think. Does this only have a magazine of three? I guess it does. Okay. Well, yeah, that will speak to everyone. are definitely worth diverting for. I'll also grab the feeding zone. Now theoretically, can take a 300 meter shot, so I could shoot them from the near side of the lake. Theoretically, I could shoot them from here. Um, I wonder if part of the problem is the wind, because I know wind does affect bullet trajectory. It's normally small enough that I don't bother about it. The only times it's normally large enough to affect me is with arrows, and then I also don't bother about it because I always forget. I wonder if that's why my shot missed the old deer, or if there was just something in between us that I didn't see. Because um, I'm guessing that the wind is probably strongest when it's raining? Question mark? Oh, blimey. Hello. Oh, I didn't even see you. That's a shame. You're gonna post Streamlabs as little thing enough that Streamlabs actually, like, fires. Um... <laughs> wow. Wow, ye. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. I can I can I can there's a certain respect that I can have for something like that, I suppose. Um I've got to that missing out that red deer. Did I actually hit the feed zone? I did hit the feed zone. Okay. <laughs> I've been completely wasting my time. Alright, where are you boys at? Oh my god, there's loads of you. You're all females with no horns. Theoretically, This could be the end of my quest if I can manage to take a follow-up shot and hit a second deer. This might be all I need. I'm gonna hop in this tree. Aww. Yeah, okay, I know you exist. I'm not gonna do anything about you because I've got a good shot lined up on these ones over here. So you're just gonna have to remain unharvested, I'm afraid. Right. Instantly, look, I'm now within about 150 yards. I've got one bar of sounds down on the bottom right, and the road deer are very clearly not spooked. So I hope we can put that to rest. Right, okay. I'll check there's no one else on the bank. Okay. 
You're the biggest, so I guess we'll aim for you first. Well, that went well. Pretty sure that was two. It's, I've just kind of sort of twigged. It's really nice and misty. Well, I say nice and misty. Actually, the mist is horrible in this game because it stops you from being able to see things. Oh, look, there's another boy. You're probably worth taking a shot at. Um. The question is, what zero do I want to use? Oh my gosh, that deer is drifting away. Uh, no, nope, other gun please. I will eventually get the right gun. Nope, too high. Uh, Okay. Uh, come back! Come back, I need you! <laughs> How did that deer not die? Okay, double lung on this guy. He dropped him instantly. How did that deer not die? I could have sworn I got him. Uh, e blood? No, the poop. Me blood somewhere. Oh, this is a fellow deer drinking zone as well, apparently. There's red deer here too sometimes. Oh. I guess he also just dropped on the spot. How did I not hit you? Right. Well, fine long shot. There we go. Don't let them hear it come and use the bow. Harvest two row deer weighing at least 25 kilos down with a bow. Duly noted. And does this have to be anywhere? No. Right, I guess we'll start tracking when we're good. Oh, I do have a skill point! I didn't realise I was still in line for any skill points, but apparently I've still got a skill point. So if you're wrong, you learn from 5-minute crafts. From 5-minute crafts?! That seems like an odd channel name to be doing Call of the Wild vids, but I, to be fair, I've never heard of them. Maybe that's their whole shtick. Uh, uh, back to the gorge you want me to go, blimey. Oh no, okay, the deer did die. But obviously I did not hit it very well, because it took ages to die. I also, I gotta keep... Stop overestimating bullet drop in this game. The bullet drop is actually nowhere near as bad as I keep expecting it to be. Oh, there's another road deer over there. It's a kid's show? And they tell you how to shoot animals? That's how I did drinking zone. Oh, I've got an achievement. True dedication. Find a feeding track, drinking track, and resting track made by a fallow deer. Is that my first fallow deer drinking zone? Oh my god. It was all a joke. OMG dizzy. Okay, you got me. You gutted me, I was got. I did hear a uh,
did hear a little... Yeah. Uh... What is it? Uh, 25 kilos down with the bow. I assume a crossbow counts? But I don't know that the crossbow counts. So I'm gonna try and kill this thing with a crossbow. Being trolled and taunted in my chat. Trauma. So no squeak. Is that? It looks like a gulpin. It is a gulpin. Mm, I guess wherever that radar was is not coming. Oh my god, yeah he is. <laughs> Whoops! That nearly didn't work at all. I hope you're of like the right uh, weight and stuff, because that would be grand. Uh, I have to do two. Okay, well we'll find out if this counts. Confirmed trophy. You are of the requisite rate. Wait. You do count. Okay, crossbows do count. That's good news. Looks so cool. Scroll through the chat. It, it, it kind of does. It's slightly terrifying. But it is pretty. One of the things I want to do on the channel is like Nuzlocks and stuff, and play Pokemon games. Uh, the main reason I haven't done that yet is... Uh, well, I mean, recently it's because I've been... I've had lots of other games that I've been playing, so it hasn't really been like a space in the schedule. But also I kind of... I'm a, I'm a little nervous about pigeonholing myself too much into like Pokétuba as a, as a category. Uh, he wants to play Truth or Dare. I can confidently say that is not a thing we're doing on the channel today. Oh, you little thing. Oh. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, we might have the quest done already. Because I am a legendary huntsman. It depends on how heavy this road deer is, I didn't check, but like it's a maybe. Oh, it's a gold! We did it, boys! We got the gold! Um, the ground blind is ingenious. Oh no, I have to do stuff with ground blinds. Ah, oh, all my ground blinds are in Leighton! I usually can get pretty close to the deer that way. Try one out close to the cornfields. Travel to Peterson cornfields. Harvest three roe deer, which is loads, down from a ground blind at night. That's so many! And it's not even night time. I just gotta follow the tracks of this. What is it? I'm not even sure what it is I'm following. I think it's a roe deer. I'm not certain. Uh... All I know is I shot it badly. Yeah, it's already there. I shot it badly, it's walked for miles.
Oh, there it is. Not not that many miles then, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh, right, I guess now we've picked you up, we'll be off to Rindland Gorge. Uh, in just a few moments. We've got about half an hour of stream time left, which is definitely enough time to see if we can plink something off with... What have we got to do in Rindland Gorge? Oh, an animal down with a shotgun? Oh no. I hope a slug counts, because Rindland Gorge is most well known for its blooming bison. Confirm trophy. Oh, I shot him too far in front. That's what I did. That's a shame. Boop. Right. Off we go! Fast travelerino. Uh... I suppose I could... set up some ground blinds and stuff over here. Like, that's a thing I could try for. What time is it? 17.05. Night's coming soon. Okay, we'll do that. I'm gonna first travel over here, I'm gonna knock down the volume for you guys, because setting this up is gonna involve quad biking. And quad biking is super loud. Oh, this is such a pretty house! I've forgotten how pretty this house was. It's just like on the shore of the lake. Isn't this marvelous? This would be a great place to like have a little holiday. Probably be a fishing holiday for me. Definitely not a hunting holiday. I'm not an IRL hunter. Um, right, what are we doing? Uh, uh, put on a backpack. Large backpack. Uh, storage. Require ground blinds. I don't know if the waterfowl blinds count. Oh, I don't own any just basic ground blinds. Ah! Right, ground blinds. Conifer or timber? I guess let's grab some timber. Let's grab like three. Um. Can I also afford a tent? No, I can't. I have to get rid of stuff for a tent. Well, as we've probably finished hunting hunting, I'm going to need to fix my kit anyway. It's probably okay for me to just like chuck off the, that. Chuck off that. And grab some tents. Okay, right. Garage. Have I ever played Prodigy? I have not. What is Prodigy? Right, okay. In terms of tent placement... I'm thinking plop a tent kinda here-ish? And then a blind sort of here and then maybe... Here to cover these fields, and then maybe one like over here and a tent over here? Question mark? Probably. Probably. That way I can kind of come at the... Uh, where am I going? I'm going to go this way. I kind of come at the area from any direction, depending on which way the wind's blowing. It's a math game where you run around the world, Get armor and dragons and monsters to be other AIs. And it's a math game? Oh, that's a tree. Uh, 
turn right. This is a silly way to go. Why am I going this way? Hang on. Right. Come down here. Uh, where did the path go? Okay, there did the path go. Oop, 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 oop. We kind of only lightly hit that, it's fine. Okay. Now oh, we're heading down to like cash. Oh my god. Oh, this was a bad idea. Uh oh. I think those are sparks that I'm seeing, those little flashes of light. Ah, uh, heck. Oh, I cannot drive. Oh, I really cannot drive. Oh god, oh god. Please turn away from the tree, out. No, you just hit the tree. I'm not certain this is actually faster by quad bike than if I was just running. But we're going to assume that it is. Uh. Oh god. Well, don't hit the things, don't hit the things. Uh, oh god! Uh, it's fine. Uh, where are we? Oh. Oh, don't hit that, don't hit that. I can't see what I'm driving at. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, we're good, we haven't blown up the quad bike. The quad bike is intact. Ish. I'll tell you what, I don't do a lot of day quad biking. I tend to do most of my quad biking at night. But actually, it's a lot more pleasant when you can kind of see what you're doing. Uh, right. How far are we from boundary of place? 132 meters? Uh, that's probably fine. Fence on 4, blinds on 5. We get a tent down. Right, let's go have a look up here maybe, might be a good spot for a uh, Someone to put our blinds down. He says, Did you know if you press Alt F4 it opens the game menu? The gun menu? Wow, ye, I did not know that. Let me just press Alt F4. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> ah, hmm. Well, this area is little Christmas trees is probably not good for a ground blind. Uh, I'll see if I can plop one down. I can plop one down. Can I actually see anything out of it? More than I was expecting, honestly. I'll give it that. More than I was expecting. Uh, Okay, I might... Hmm. I might give up on this bit then. But I could try putting one up there on that little ridge. 
But it's quite far to get to from here. Well, it's not that far to get to from there. Okay. The bike, come. Bye bike. Oh, okay. I some of these trees are things I can hit. Uh, there's also rocks. Never give up. Brick up up. Right. Okay. Is this a sort of a place where I can get a better view? It is. Can I pop one down right here? That would be grand. Uh, hmm. I think there's a fundamental flaw in my plan. God damn. This would be a great spot to put this down. And the trees are in the way. Not on the path here at all? Oh, I could put one there. It doesn't really cover that side, but it does at least cover this field quite nicely, I suppose. Uh, blimey, not with the door where it is. Hang on. Is there nowhere I can put one down near here? Oh, bloody Christmas trees. Okay, well, that, I guess the Christmas trees are just a write-off. Uh, what can I see from here? There's a little problem. Um, I can see this entire field pretty well, and it's all within gun range, so that's a pretty good vantage point. I'm happy with that one at least. I'd like to have one that actually covers the, the Christmas trees, but we're not going to get that. I guess maybe on the path I might be able to put one down? Oh, I can. Does it have any good field of view? Okay, I could feasibly shoot a deer out of this. Uh, and what I've gone and done is I've gone and put these here, uh, not near where my tent is. <laughs> In your head there, weed trees? I, as far as I'm aware, wheat doesn't grow on trees. Alright, I'll summon my quad bike. Uh, pick this up. Right, where are we headed? Somewhere like this? Probably? Oh, we hit something. It's fine. Is it a tree? I thought it was a... Uh, just a plant, if that makes sense. Ow. Ow. You're always around it. Is it legal where you are?
<laughs> no, okay, I see, gotcha. Um... Oh. What a nice open space to have a have a campsite in. How close are we to these? 153 meters? Maybe go back a bit so we'll be on the 200 range. Doesn't need to be very far. And maybe... There we go. 10. Okay, right. Uh, I'm also actually going to buy another one of these. Do I want another another one? Sure. Got money to burn. I've also got skill points to burn. This is probably my last skill point. What do I want to put it in? Um, what have we got? Endurance? Don't care. Uh, active skill? Definitely not use that. Plus health? Really don't care. Uh, sense? Absolutely don't care. I literally only bought this because I had to. These were maxed. That I don't care. That's interesting. That's an, a real interesting one. Because I would use it, but it means I'd never use my binoculars. Um, or, well, that's not true. It's not like I'd never use them. Uh, this one, I'm quite considering. I don't care about that. It's between these two. Let's probably take this one. There we go. Okay. All of our skill points have now been spent. Right. Uh, I want to have a look over here and see if that's a spot that can get me a look on both of those fields. Because that would be really grand. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Well, we're going 50 miles an hour downhill. Sorry, 50 kilometers an hour downhill. I've just realized that the cornfields are actually like different to the straw fields. They have corn in them and not straw. I know that sounds like a really stupid thing to say, but I hadn't realized that the assets were different. Also, I'm absolutely devastating this crop by driving a, a quad bike through it. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so in my ideal world, I want to be able to look out. Uh, it doesn't have the high ground, which I kind of wanted. Because with the high ground, you can see out over more sp stuff. Because there's not all of the, the rolling ground in the way. <laughs> Time for school, Timmy. Look, okay. I just didn't realize that they were actually going to bother to use different models for the dead straw versus the dead corn. If they can't use a different model for a coyote and a fox, why would I assume they can use a different model for corn and straw? Uh, oh. Is it night? Why are the headlights on? Right, this is a great spot that it's not going to let me put one down in, isn't it? Oh, it is! Hello. Now, where do I want the tent to access this? I'm going to go pick that up in a sec, actually. And this is the last field, right? Yeah. Okay, this is actually a great spot to have both of these.
That's some good sight lines, pretty much the whole field. This feels a little wonky anyway, but like this is the best spot apart from maybe up there. Uh, I'm probably going to put the tent up here, I guess? That's 300 meters away. Well, this side down here. That's 260 meters away. No, it's going to be up here because I need it to be far away from the actual fields. Um, oh, I do have one left over. That's, I wasn't expecting that for some reason. We're coming up in three hours. Yeah, I know, but we. That's what this bit was. This was a. Uh, a wrap up and prep for next session kind of a a bit of stream at the end here. Uh oh, uh oh, trees. Oh. There's a, there's a thing here if I want it. Um, I don't think that counts, unfortunately. He says, wait. That means you've been here the whole stream. You have. It's been a pleasure having you here for the whole stream as well. Uh, okay. This is hill. And trees. This is not ideal camping spots. Is this your first time being here for the whole of a stream? It doesn't feel that way. Feels like you're always here. Uh, okay. Maybe out here on this little bit? That's probably as good as we're gonna get. Boop. Like the whole whole screen. Oh, I see, okay. I am. Pleased enough with this. It's a little bit of a trek to the two ground blinds there, but it's enough that we're not scaring off too much of the, the people from the field. There's about that much field that we might scare people off from when we spawn in. You normally watch about two hours each stream. Oh, okay. I guess I could actually get a different tent and put it down here. I'm not sure what it would serve, but I could do that. Um, I think that's gonna be fine. Let's put the old ground blind away. Uh, should I get to work on fixing my kit for next time? What am I going to need next time? What do I got mission-wise? Uh, harvest two bison with brucellosis. Harvest a male red deer and add a bronze score higher. Harvest two fallow deer with a point. So I need a point two four three still. Uh, I need a shotgun. I need a point three five seven handgun. So what don't I need? I don't necessarily need that. Uh, I'll take that off as well. Do I own a three four seven three five seven handgun? I do. Well, do I need to shoot with it? Hang on a sec. What, what am I doing here? A fox? A fox from over 75 meters with a 357 handgun. You're having a giraffe. Uh, you're having an absolute laugh. That's not going to happen. Uh, at all. <laughs> he says, love you boo, see you next stream. One plus one equals two, quick math. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, this is the- oh my god, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. Uh, I should have checked what uh, scopes you're compatible with, because I'm gonna need one for 75mm shot. Bloody hell spells. Ugh, dear lord, dear lord, dear lord, dear lord. So, compatible items. Right, you're the good bullets, buy some more of you. And then you're good with the goshawk sight, okay. Alright, ladies ye. Uh, I'll be wrapping up in a few minutes once I've just finished this up. Um, okay, and then I need a shotgun. What is my best shotgun? I've got the Kavashim 12 gauge, I've got the Strecker 20 gauge. Do I have the 10 gauge? I feel like I have the, the other shotgun somewhere. I certainly bought the DLC for it. Did I actually buy the shotgun? What the hell is this thing? Calso model 1897 Ranchero. <laughs> 16 gauge apparently. I want the smallest gauge number. That's right. Oh, I also own the, dr the drilling rifle now, which would be interesting. Never tried the drilling rifle. But the uh, the shotgun bit is 16 gauge only, which isn't great. This is a 10 gauge. This is a semi-auto with an absolutely amazing paint job. But, I'm assuming, it means 20 gauge. Yeah, 20 gauge. Um, what, what shotgun license? Use 16 gauge. I think I checked that already. <laughs> he, he says it's for pheasants. I'm not sure which one they said is for pheasants though, because I've been looking at all of them and not paying so much attention to chat. Um, Right, these 10 gauge shells will hit, oh Jesus Christ, they hit class 1 and then classes 4 to 7. So I actually can't hit a roe deer with this, which is crazy. Um, so maybe I want to stick to the 12 gauge? The 12 gauge kind of has a good take all comers kind of attitude, right? Let's me, let's me 12 gauge, 12 gauge birdshot, 12 gauge buckshot 2 to 5. Oh, do I have... ...12 gauge slugs. I do not have 12 gauge slugs yet. Okay. Hmm. I'll have to have a think about this uh, off stream. What shotgun do I want? Because we have hit. I think it's a night turning game as well. We have hit uh, the three hour mark. So, uh, if you have enjoyed watching uh, and you're here with me on Twitch, uh, please do consider dropping a follow. I want to thank you very much, uh, Killer Ali, who, who followed and spoke up in chat. It's always nice to have new people around. Uh, Partly because, yes, okay, it's lovely to have the numbers and I've got goals and stuff, but also because I, it's nice to be in front of more people and I want people to see what I do and to be entertained by me. Uh, in similar notes, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do drop a like. Maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. 
Uh, and you can also find me on Twitter, where I'm at this for the mice. I send out a tweet every time I go live. I also give you life updates, like ah, I've got COVID, which is what I was mostly tweeting about last week. Um, and then occasionally, other stuff goes on there as well. I put out a poll or something uh, for various purposes. Other than that, I will be back at midday again tomorrow. Uh, once again, don't know what game it will be with. <laughs> yeah, we're all on this ride together, okay? No one knows where it's gonna go. Not even me. I have the steering wheel, but it's fake. Uh, it just spins in place. Uh, until then, uh, I have been dizzy. Thank you everyone once again so much for watching and being with me. Uh, and I will see each and every one of you lovely people next time. Ta-ra!